All right, in this video, let's take a look at the accordion component from Material UI. The accordion component allows the user to show and hide sections of related content on a page. Let's understand its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI accordion.tsx Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. Now for an accordion, we need three components. At the top, import, accordion, accordion summary, and accordion details from material UI. We are also going to import the expand more icon, which works really well with our accordion. And this is from the material icons library. Now the accordion can contain any content. For our example, we're going to work with simple text. So let's import the typography component as well. All right, let's now write the JSX. Within the div tag, we invoke the accordion component. This is a wrapper component. Within the accordion component, we invoke the accordion summary component. Below the accordion summary, we invoke the accordion details component. On the summary component, let's add a few props. ID is equal to panel one header, are your controls for accessibility, panel one content, and finally, the expand icon prop. This is going to be equal to the expand more icon which we have imported. As part of the summary, let's add the text typography accordion 1. Now for the details, let's add a sentence of text. So typography again and lorem ipsum text. Let us now include this component in app component. And head to the browser. You can see we have the accordion component, which will expand and collapse when you click on the summary. Now it's also possible to create an accordion group. Let's see how. I'm going to copy paste the entire accordion two more times. I'll change occurrences of accordion and panel one to two and three. So panel two header, panel two content, panel three header, and panel three content. This is accordion two, and accordion three. If we head back to the browser, you can see the three accordions. All of them expand and collapse. However, in an accordion group, the ideal behavior is such that only one accordion is expanded at any given time. We can take care of that by maintaining a state variable and adding the expanded and onChange props. Let's head back to VS Code and do that. At the top, import use state from React. Within the component, create a state variable. Expanded, set expanded, and the initial value is false. The type though can be string or false. When no accordion is expanded, the value will be false. Next, on each accordion, we're going to add the expanded prop. On the first one, expanded is going to be equal to the expanded variable being equal to the string panel one. Similarly, on the second accordion, expanded is equal to panel two, and on the third accordion, expanded is equal to panel three. Here, panel one, two, or three 
is what we need to set as our state variable when we click an accordion. For that, we handle the onChange event. onChange, and this is equal to an arrow function. The function receives the change event and whether the accordion is expanded as arguments. Let's call it is expanded. We are only interested in the is expanded value. So let's call our own handler called handle change passing in is expanded and a string that is used for comparison on the expanded prop. That is nothing but the string panel one. Similarly, let's define the same for the other two accordions as well. On change panel two, on change panel three. Now we can define the function. const handle change is an arrow function which receives is expanded and the panel as arguments. And within the function body, we call set expanded where we pass in a value based on is expanded. So if it is expanded, we specify the panel string value, else we specify false. Let's save the file and test it out. Expand the first panel, click on the second panel, and the first panel automatically collapses. Our accordion is working as expected. You typically see these types of accordions in FAQ sections of a website. Hopefully, you now know how to implement it with Material UI.